Hey folks, today I got the new molded parts for the electric eel wheel cone winder. I'm pretty excited to check those out and make sure they addressed all the issues and to see how the fit and finish work. But before that, there's something I've been waiting to do and that is destructive testing. So if you're a little uh, squeamish about what kind of testing I do to make sure that my products won't get damaged in uh, testing, you might want to turn away now or, or end the video, but I'll be dropping some of the older parts that I'm not going to use anymore just to see how robust they are. So the thing I'm most concerned about with shipping these are on the drum, there's these plastic circles, which I've reinforced on the latest, latest molds to be a little bit stronger, but I'm a little afraid because this drum is pretty heavy that if it falls flat like that, it could break these plastic pieces off. So specifically to test that, I'm going to just take a box and the absolute minimum padding I would have would be one layer of bubble wrap like that. And then I put this in on top of the one layer of bubble wrap. And I'm just gonna do some um, special, you know, tests where I know it's gonna land on the bottom like that and just sort of see if that drum holds up in this case. And then I'll do a, a few other tests after that. So after several of those tests, I'm quite happy that nothing was damaged. Um, this bearing did pop out of the um, thing on two or three of the drops, but uh, nothing was damaged. So I'm pretty happy that that drum is not a significant um, area of weakness. So after all of those drops, um, I did find one failure point, which is good. Uh, this side portion here um, buckled out and uh, yeah, this side's still fine. Um, I think uh, on the final version, we definitely plan to put foam under the drum, but what this has taught me is that we're probably gonna wanna put some foam inserts on both sides uh, to help protect it um, from side impacts. Um, I also think we're going to tape down the drum. So I'll do more testing. Definitely want to get final packaging and with some of those padding options, but um, I'm actually pretty happy with how this turned out. Uh, those are definitely some high drops that I was doing. It survived all of the um, waist level drops, no problem. It was just when I started throwing it into the air that eventually one of those side impacts caused this drum to fall to the side, which sort of pushed open the, uh, or pushed off the side portion like that. But um, this is why I test, and I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be able to come up with uh, a packaging system that will survive any kind of you know, dropping that's head height or so. Uh, that's sort of my goal. Uh, sometimes they're, you know, I've seen packages get run over by forklifts and stuff, and I'm not going to be able to prevent all damages in shipping like that, but uh, you know, as long as 99% of my packages uh, get to their final destination without damage, I'm, I'm pretty happy. So this is the kind of thing that I uh, do during the late stage development. I, I, you know, start testing and trying to make sure that the packaging that I come up with for my products will survive. So here are the updated molded parts. I'm actually really happy with how this turned out. The finish is much nicer on these parts, just as I expected. Uh, really cleaned up all the surfaces. All of the fit for the bearings are really good. This piece used to wobble and now it really fits in there nicely and sticks in there. Let's see. So that's pretty much it. Now it has my logo up there. Oh, one thing that I'm not sure about is this is something I know is always going to be there and I th this is uh, an injection spot and it's one we couldn't hide very well. I'm thinking I'll put some kind of sticker there, maybe a little logo or something, maybe the name of the product. Um, if anybody has any ideas, uh, definitely let me know what you think uh, should go there, but you can obviously replace any sticker I put there. Maybe I'll just leave it like it is 
and uh, people can add stickers if they want it. So anyways, really happy with how the molds turned out. This is actually probably the best uh, mold update I've ever gotten in a product. I was thinking I might have to do a couple of rounds, but they really uh, addressed all of the issues my factory did that I had with the first set of molds. So uh, yeah, it's almost like they're figuring out after many products, the kinds of things that um, matter, like uh, the fit of the bearings and all the fits of different pieces, or maybe I'm just getting better at explaining what I want changed. Uh, there's probably a bit of both there. So anyways, really great news there. And if you've got any comments or suggestions, definitely let me know. Thanks for watching.